my name is Miss Jessica from the Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois, and I have my science helper Kaylee today. Hi. <laughs> and we are here to share Squawky Cubs today as part of our playful learning at home. So let's get started. To do this activity, you need some kind of a cup or container. Today we finished up Hold on. We finished up some chips at lunch and we decorated the container. Now we need to go and try to poke a small hole in the bottom. This is metal, so we're gonna see how well this works. So we are gonna use a nail to poke this hole. Uh, Grown-ups, one of the tips that I learned from some of our hardware store helpers is to hold the nail with needle nose pliers. No. No, this is so I can hold it I and know. be safe while I you are know. holding the hammer. I know. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to hold this here, right in center. Uh-oh. That doesn't work. Let me see if I can hold it a little bit better again. Let me see. Woo! Maybe my nail's a little bit big. There we go. There we go. All right, we've got a hole now. Perfect. So now we have a hole. Yeah, it's got it in. Oh, no, the nail doesn't need to go in. But you're just proving that we have a hole. Oh. Yeah, now we do. <laughs> All right, can you come sit down here? We're going to see the next step. So now we have a hole in the bottom of our I'll pin. Get the All right, grab the string and we need our scissors. Make sure you're not working your camera. There we go. Now we need a nice long string, about, oh, this long. That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Do you want to cut it or should I? You hold it, I cut. Oh, okay. I will hold it and you will cut. Careful with those scissors. Excellent practice for the kids. Now. Easy to cut. Okay. Now I. It's very hard to go and feed this. In. I want to try. You want to try it? It's very hard to do this. Sometimes you have to go and use the nail to help go and poke it in. Is that going to go in? Huh? No, let's keep our mouths off of things because we don't want to be getting our turn. Wait, wait. You can use the nail to help push it a little bit if you need help. Use the tip of the nail to push just a little bit. Put that over. And it's okay if we don't get just exactly the end in. All right, now we've got it going in a little bit. This is where little hands are very helpful. Can you reach in there and grab it? Be careful any sharp edges from that can. There we go. Now don't pull it all the way through. We have our can where we have string going through both ends. Now we want to take the open end and we need to tie this string to something. I use paper clips sometimes, but I don't have paper clip today, so I have a toothpick. Uh, oh, I have an extra toothpick. You want to go and play with that one in your mouth? Go ahead. All right, so I have a toothpick, so I'm going to go ahead and tie the string around the toothpick. Yeah, I knew you'd want to go and chew on that. Wait. Oh, that one broke? Do you want to go throw that out? I tried out? to. Oh, don't be trying to break that. We don't want to go and get any splinters in our mouth. Go ahead, throw that away while I finish getting this one tied on. Mm -hmm. Make sure to double knot, because if this comes loose, you don't want to have to go and feed it through again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead I and double knot. this thing off. Nope, go ahead and throw that away and we'll move on to our next step. All right, I'm trimming off a little bit of our extra string here. So now we have our toothpick. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that off. Are you ready to come help me with the next step, Miss Kaylee? Mm -hmm. All right, head back over here. My toothpick is on its Hi. string in here. All right, go ahead and pull this string, not too hard, gently. All right, it's stuck, very good. No, oh, not, do, you're gonna break your toothpick and then it's not gonna work. Now, you're out of frame, come on up. Don't want you to disappear out of camera. Now, to make our squawky cup squawk, we need to add one more thing. We need to add some water. We need our string to be wet. So we're gonna go ahead and dip this all up. Oh, no, no, we don't need to dip the whole cup in. Now I'm gonna wipe the extra little bit off. Now I need to teach you how this is gonna work. So let's go back. All right, so now our string is wet. So what I need you to do, I need you to make duck lips with your fingers. 
So we need three fingers and we're gonna go quack, quack, quack. Now, the way to do this, we're gonna slide our fingers down the string. Hold on, we don't pull. No, we do not pull. We go and pinch and slide. Can I try? Can you try it? Yeah, it is make a little bit of a splash. Do you want to try this one? I have a couple other ones. I have a couple other ones that I need. Can I try that one? Now, do these are these ones going to sound the same or different? Different. Oh. Do they sound the same or different? They sound the same. They're the same size and made out of the same material. But how about this one? Is this one the same or different? How does it sound different? Does it sound Does it sound higher? Or lower? Lower. It sounds lower. Now, the reason that the vibrations do this, as the cup vibrates, it, ma it makes different sounds depending on the size of the cup. And the sound also can change depending on what the material is made out of. These cups are just made out of the paper. <laughs> and the, this can has a metal bottom, so it has a little bit of a metallic sound to it. Our science cat, Josie, decided to come over here and see what all this noise was too. I think she's more interested in the strings that are hanging down. <laughs> I think she wants to try at it too. You have a try at it too. But I don't think she's gonna figure out how to make a squawky noise. So I think Let's that's it for today. Oh, nope, I don't think you're getting any more. As our strings dry out, they don't work as well, so you'll have to keep getting them wet. Or grown-ups, you could just not decide to get them wet and the sounds will just naturally end on their own. This is a great one to play with outside for a little bit. Resources for this activity and many more can be found on our website for Playful Learning at Home. Or you can come and check us out on our Discovery Center webpage or on our Facebook page. Please share any pictures of your creations using the hashtag Discovery Center Science so we can see your lovely creations. Also, we would love to hear videos of your wonderful music that you can make using these wonderful instruments and see all see the different kinds of sounds you can make with them and what kind of experiments you can come up with. Thanks for playing and learning today. Bye! Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities. Or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.